Hi, hey, and all those other greetings, Spade Adventurers, and welcome back to Spade Galves Productions Gaming and Boxing Channel with me, Jake Spence, who also owns and creates on Spade Galves Original with Girl of Cyclones, Quincor Floralai Vlogs, as well as art videos and just a whole balloon of stuff. Don't know where balloon came from. Anyway, though, it is December 7th, which you know what that means. The day I got a $10 off coupon on eBay. I, I actually did. But, that's not, not important. What is important, however, a certain game released today. And I have that game right next to me. But before we get into that, you might also remember that there was quite a lot of amiibo that are supposed to come out today. And they did. I don't know why I phrased it like that. But those are the Smash Inkling, Wolf, Ridley, and then the Splatoon Octoling 3 set. As well as a bunch of other re-releases such as, you know, other characters other version other ones of the 50 that had previously come out that are $12. Now, the thing is we ordered those online and those are coming in the mail. So, unfortunately, I don't actually have those three with me and the Octolings we're actually not sure if we ordered online too. So, even though my dad also bought the Octolings at the store, I'm not going to open them just yet because we want to really make sure that one's not going to come through the mail, so then, if need be, we can return those amiibo. But if not, then we have them, and the unboxings, they will come. Don't worry, it'll just be a little later. However, not sure if I put this in the title or not, but you might also, or might not know, I might just be telling you now, there are actually going to be amiibo that are unboxed in this episode, they're just not brand new Amiibo. They're Amiibo that got re-released. All right, anyway though, let me show you really quickly what we've got here. So what do I want to start off with? So with every pre-order, and uh, Brandon got this too. I don't know if he technically pre-ordered it, but he ordered it. He bought it before it released, but then went to the midnight launch and he still got this but for as i know for every pre-order super smash brothers you get a poster now you might be thinking this looks a little bland sure it does look like an invitation card however that's the back of the poster this is the front here you have final destination from super smash brothers ultimate Look at how good this looks. I mean, granted, sure, maybe it's a small poster, but it definitely looks nice, and it looks fancy. Look, look at how right it looks, just in my hands. This, this needed a place to rest, and it is in the right place. This will be framed. Hopefully. <laughs> I mean, I framed the other Smash posters, like the, the villager one over there, so... This one shouldn't be too hard to frame. Now, the other things that we got are the actual game of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, which I think will probably be unboxing last. We got a collector's book. I usually don't buy these, however, I could get it 10% off, and why not, you know? I, I really love Smash Brothers, and if there's any game that I would put way more hours in and just want to know more about, it would probably be Smash Brothers, you know? Other than maybe, like, Luigi's Mansion, or, because the third one, or, like, a Sonic game. This would essentially be on the top list of something I'd look into more, so book is always nice i will be opening that i was considering if i wanted to or not just because you know collector's edition and 
Well, it's official guide. So, sure, I'll open it. I just probably won't look in it, just in case. And uh, before we open up the box or the book, we have the Amiibo. But hang on, there's some info on here. And these are actually the new boxes for the Amiibo. Just give me one quick second. These Amiibo are Marth and Ganondorf. Now, Marth actually has some history in the Smash Amiibo world. Now, because the box is changed, technically you can tell it's a re-release. So, if you actually do have a boxed original one, keep it boxed because as silly as it might sound that a red square not being there, even though I think the red square is a brilliant touch, it would probably sell for a lot of money in the future. Even though, maybe not, but you never know with collector's items. Kind of weird. But the other change for the box, I don't know if I've talked about this, is that they've actually combined all regions. There's no more American-specific box, no more Japan-specific box, no more UK-specific box. Like, it's all in one box. So you actually have English and Japanese on the box, and on the back, you have English and Japanese. So, if you are specifically hunting for an original Amiibo that came out during launch to keep in box or whatever, that's what you want to do if that's what you're into, then those are the specific telltale signs of if it's a new re-release. Alright? Cool. I don't know if anything else changed on the figures, but here let me show you Ganondorf. And Ganondorf is actually significant for me specifically because I had every single Zelda amiibo except for Ganondorf. And funny enough, my uh, first row of amiibo is literally Mario and Zelda. That's like the whole first row because there's just so many of them. And I still have Mario and Zelda ones on the top of the thing so it's it's crazy but yeah finishing this guy up with uh with the zelda stuff and uh i think there might yeah yeah because of the young link amiibo so getting even more zelda amiibo which is pretty crazy um and then i just need ike for fire emblem now and then i'll have all of those but let's actually start off with mark since hi mark apparently you're now named mark Okay, anyway though, but let's start off with Marth, and then I'll go into Ganondorf, and I'll try to be pretty quick. No bios, but I know what you guys are really, really looking forward to, and I really, really badly want to play Smash. So, I am going to try to be careful with the back of these boxes, and I, I have actually had people tell me, I think Shoot Splatters, he watched one of my Amiibo unboxing videos, and he, he told me that... The way I unbox Amiibo just makes him so nervous. And I have cut myself on these before. Oh, that actually wasn't as loud. The plastic actually feels better. It's weird, but it doesn't feel as cheap. It feels smooth. So I wonder if they actually improved on that. Hmm. I mean, it would make sense. So looking at Marth, I almost called him Mark again. <laughs> looking at Marth, he looks pretty good. He probably does look a little bit up quality, upscaled, whatever, um, because this is a re-release. You know, he's got the sword. Of course, as Amiibo entail, he's got his uh, crest on the back of his cape, which is pretty nice. Even freaking clothes ripples on his torso. I don't know if you can see it, but very detailed. Usually, I'd try to go more in-depth with the Amiibo, but... Want to make sure you guys aren't here for half an hour. <laughs> Alright, Ganondorf. Are you ready to warlock punch this into existence? It might be like, Spins, are you gonna put any amiibo down to unlock characters? Like, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog? No. I'm not cheating. <laughs> you can call it whatever you want. I understand it's you know, if you want to do that method and you just specifically want a certain character, that's fine. I'm not going to judge you if that's... It's a reasonable unlocking thing. Um, 
At least I think that's a method. I don't actually 100% know if it's confirmed. But um, I won't judge anybody for using it because it is a reasonable method. And, you know, you did actually pay money for the amiibo. So it's it's valid. It's fair. Um, however, I'm not going to be using it because I would prefer to actually play the game. But it is nice for those who might specifically want one character and are afraid that it's going to be like the last character they unlock. So I can understand that. And oh my god, this Ganondorf amiibo looks amazing. He's all like golden stuff. Holy crud. Like the quality of him looks really good. I mean, amiibo started three years ago. I'm curious if this is actually how the amiibo for Ganondorf looked back then too because they might have added some stuff but like look at how detailed his cape is and so long and like just feeling it like it feels flexible i'm not going to be bending it because that would be stupid but uh you know you can even see the little lines in his dreadlocks on his head that is insane insane amount of details this is a really good looking amiibo all right cool again would have loved to spend more time on that, but we got Smash to do. So, <laughs> that sounded silly because that wasn't really a full sentence. But that's okay because I'm going to be as careful as physically possible with uh, with this thing that I forget what it's called, but it's it's for math. I know. I'm, I use a math tool to unbox things. Before you call me a heathen, <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, I, I didn't mean for it to end like this or begin like this or continue like this. But, you know, sometimes math is good for non-math things. Like opening up Smash Brothers. <laughs> you know, it's just good for cutting plastic. It's supposed to make circles and stuff. But I'm, I'm actually really nervous about this because I don't want to damage it and hopefully the sticker yep stickers on the plastic which is perfect because if it's on like the book or something it's really hard to get off um you can get it off but i just prefer it to not be because then it just kind of ruins the aesthetic of it but here we go this is the smash official guide which is awesome complete move sets all the basics you need to succeed with any fighter, which is pretty good. So if I want to ever um, look over a certain fire fighter to learn him before, like, classic mode or something, I can do that. All fighters? This includes all fighters. Of course, though, <laughs> not DLC fighters. So characters like uh, Joker that were just announced and Piranha Plant, not going to be in this book. Um, I would be a little surprised if they didn't add, like, you know, make an additional book for the DLC fighters or, you know, just alter this one and put it in store shelves. So looking in here, wow, they have alphabetically every single character as an overview. And then like on page two, they have like terms and mechanisms. That's pretty cool. So if you're looking to go into competitive play, this is what you're going to want. Now, granted, keep in mind, this is for day one. Um, I don't know if they have specific technical stuff in this book. Like, let's see if I go to page 16 for, sure, Bayonetta. Um, okay, so they have specific things. Okay, they do have damage outputs in here, which is good. Keep in mind, though, that's going to change. Um, you know, not specifically for Bayonetta, but just in general, that is just something that is bound to change and something that they can't help. You know, they got to balance the game, they got to patch it, and you never know in the future what's going to happen with that kind of stuff. So, for a good no patch, day one, very good awesome and um even though it will become outdated at some point something cool to have and even if it does become outdated you'll at least have a base guide of what to expect so pretty cool and now 
Let's go to the main event. All right, I'm so excited. Like right now it doesn't seem like it because like, it's like a super shadow. Like I'm just so relieved, but also there was um there was something that, like I got a message about the amiibo thing. Cause I'm a little bit frustrated with the amiibo thing that happened. Um, Cause I would have liked to unbox those, but at least that made it where this unboxing isn't like an hour long. So, all right. So on the back, it actually looks like it has all of the base roster on it, which is pretty cool. Numbered by uh, how they were released, which that's another interesting thing. They, they did it alphabetically in the book, not actually by how they were released by number, which is probably a good thing. Makes more sense because that's how you'd want to order that stuff. But they could have done it either way. So you have all the fighters on here, 70 plus fighters, 100 plus stages, new game modes, and more. All new adventure mode. So that's pretty cool. You've got all that kind of stuff on the back. Here's the back of the box. And of course, it does support eight player Smash, which is pretty cool. Kind of forgot about that. You can use GameCube adapter and like all this other crazy stuff so much that you can actually use. It's fantastic. All right. Also, um, there's going to be, Ooh, Ooh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Oh my God. I, like, I can't imagine that background being white just because it just looks so cool and so clean. And actually, you can see the reflection on there. And that, it probably is a little distracting. But look at this. Holy crud, that's awesome. I am ready to fight. And here is the, uh, the game card. So let me take that out really quick and I'm going to show you guys the actual card and don't lose this. Shouldn't have to be said, but don't, don't lose your copy of Smash Brothers. All right. It's kind of hard to see. It's small. It's not really going to focus from there, but that's it for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Unboxing. Don't start crying yet because... There will be Smash Brothers content on here, and you probably expect that because I've said it multiple times, but also it just seems obvious. But um, there this will be in a Smash Ultimate play playlist, and when you actually go into there, you'll be able to check out all the playthrough through episode one through episode however many we're going to go through classic mode and we're going to go through world of light we're we're going to have a blast and they're going to add new modes and we're going to have sessions it's going to be great and i can't wait to see you guys there can't wait to start this journey with you guys and i really hope that this game just becomes an era of gaming in and of itself that it is just an era all right, guys. See you in Ultimate.